The Easter hunter gatherers from Sidielkina represent a fascinating group of prehistoric peoples who inhabited the regions near the Volga River during the Mesolithic and early Neolithic periods. Their subsistence was based primarily on hunting, fishing, and foraging, which was well suited to the rich, diverse ecosystems of the forest steppe zone they inhabited. Archaeological excavations in Sidielkina have revealed a variety of stone tools, including microliths and arrowheads, indicating their advanced skills in crafting and hunting techniques. Additionally, their burial practices, often involving red ochre and elaborate grave goods, provide insights into their complex social and ritual behaviors. The genetic studies of these populations have shown a significant degree of continuity with later populations in the region, showing their contributions to the formation of Indo-Europeans in the steppes of Russia. These Eastern hunter-gatherers trace the majority of their ancestry to ancient North Eurasians, a Paleolithic Siberian group ancestral to Europeans, Native Americans, South Asians, and peoples of West Asia. A significant minority of their ancestry, uh, talking about the ancestry of Eastern hunter-gatherers of Sidielkino, around 30% derives from the Western hunter-gatherers of Europe. The town of Sidielkino is located in Samara Oblast in central Russia, at approximately the same latitude as such European cities as Hamburg and Belfast. Humans have inhabited Sidielkino since at least the Mesolithic, and possibly even earlier. I have gathered 12 high-quality genomes of Easter hunter-gatherers from Sidielkina, and in the upcoming days you will see their trade predictor results on this channel. I will not be posting anything besides these Sidielkino hunter-gatherers for the next 12 days. <laughs> Pretty much that's it. Uh, I will be posting one result per day. Now here's some statistics on the pigmentation of these samples. I gathered these statistics for you. And let me introduce them to you. So, 7 of the 12 samples have regular brown eye color. 2 of the 12 samples have dark brown eyes. So if you count up the brown plus the dark brown, that adds up to 9 out of 12 samples. So 75% of the samples have some shade of brown eye color. 2 of the 12 samples have hazel eyes. And only 1 out of 12 samples has green eye color. There are no samples with blue eyes. When it comes to hair color, it looks like 8 out of 12 samples have black hair, and 4 out of 12 samples have predicted a hair color that is dark brown. There are no samples with a predicted hair color that is not black or dark brown, no samples with a predicted hair color that is light brown or blonde or red, anything else. So pretty much only black or dark brown hair color. 8 for black, 4 for dark brown. Uh, stay tuned for the samples in the coming days. Make sure you read the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.